Reapers. I'm Jay from Coral Lush, and today is Wisdom Wednesday, and today I'm going to talk about coral placement. I was just reviewing my tank and some frags that I had glued in, and the one thing I always notice is that it's not always the final position. Sometimes you glue a frag and it just doesn't seem to be doing well there. It's not getting the lighting or the flow that it needs, and you have to move it. So I do notice my rock structure does cause some shadowing, which is okay, it's awesome, but I wanna cover every inch of rock with awesome coral. So the only problem with shadowing and trying to get every inch covered is that they don't work out well together. So that's one reason why the T5s do really well, because they do fill in those extra crevices, I feel. Um, but yeah, even just like this, I had a coral touch in this clam, and it was closed for about, I would say two or three days and it bleached out, it faded, there's wind thilla right away. You can see that it's stressed or gone or dead just because of uh, being closed for that long. So lighting is really important. This is a gorgeous balanced mushroom. I have it underneath this rock and it's just the flow and the location is amazing for it. It's doing great. It's just losing a lot of its pop because it's got this great big shelf above it. Now I thought it would be open water and there, it would get enough light from both sides, but it does need to be uh, moved to keep its amazing color. So yeah, give it some thought. Whenever you guys are placing your corals or if you think a coral is not doing well, it's not, it may not be your water, it may just be the position in your tank. So if certain things are doing well and it's just one or two corals, they may just be in the wrong location. So give it some thought, seriously. And if you glue a coral in and it doesn't do well, like I said, break it off and move it. That's why I don't putty my corals. I just do the super glue first. And then once I'm very happy with it, then I'll putty around it just so it can grow in naturally. But yeah, let's go around back and I'll show you the rest of the corals. I absolutely love that pearl berry glued to the side like that. I'm hoping it grows out and looks pretty wicked. But, and that bubble's overtaken that Monty cap. I hope it gets enough light to stay healthy. So I wasn't expecting that to fill up that fast. But here's the rainbow A cans. It's absolutely incredible right here. I had to turn the light off on this tank just because it was causing such a glare. Um, since I just changed to those bulbs, the T5s. Um, but yeah, there's clownfish in there and they laid eggs, so I'll show you that. I can't feel you, that thing is super awesome. Crown Royal Leather, one of my favorites. Then you have the Toadstool Leather behind it. You got this torch with blue tips, there's a torch with green tips, there's a gold torch. This green Monty cap here is absolutely insane, so bright. Utter chaos, man, these things grow like weeds. It's unbelievable. Well, there you go for now. This is the back of the tank. Um, you can see here, the shadowing has killed two of my blastos. I thought they would look awesome crushing that rock, but due to the rock above it, it looks really cool, but it, it's blocking the light, so it doesn't give it enough to grow. So that, that's a kind of stinky thing. I don't know what I'll do with that. I'll probably move that top piece or something. As always, thanks for watching and happy reefing.